Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to take a backup of a Azure virtual machine. So let's go to the Azure portal. On my Azure portal, I click on virtual machine. I can see the list of virtual machines in my subscription. So let's say if I want to set up a backup for this VM. So once I click on this VM, on the VM plate, let me type backup. I click on backup so it is giving me the option to create a new recovery services vault so virtual machine backups are created inside recovery services vault since we don't have any existing recovery services vault it's giving me the option to create new so under create new backup vault name it has taken a default name resource group it has taken the same resource group name as my existing VM choosing a backup policy I'll come to the choose backup policy in few minutes so instead of creating a recovery services vault from the virtual machine let's directly go to recovery services vault so I click on new and it takes me to the create recovery services vault page so subscription is the same subscription where I have my virtual machine. Resource group, I can have the same resource group where my virtual machine is. And vault name, we can give a name, let's say test vm underscore or hyphen vault. My virtual machine is in South India. So let's choose the backup region also as South India. Okay, so we have filled up all the information. Now we click on review and create. Okay, so recovery service vault creation has started. We can see the progress on the top here and it's already complete. So let's go to the resource. This is my test VM hyphen vault recovery services vault. Now the next step would be taking a backup. So under recovery services vault, test VM hyphen vault, I go to backup. I choose my workload is running on Azure and it's a virtual machine. I click on backup. So policy, it wants me to create a policy. So let's say I want to back it up daily. Under policy, you can define how frequently or what time you want to back up. So maybe you want to back it up on a daily basis at a specific time or maybe you want to back it up once in a week so you specify the frequency of your backup here and then the next section we have is instant restore so whenever your VM is backed up there are two phases during the backup process the first phase is taking a snapshot and the second phase is moving the snapshot to your vault so the benefit of a snapshot is your recovery times will be faster so when you take a backup let's say you are taking a daily backup your backup for the last two days for the previous two days would be a snapshot recovery so snapshots are stored in the same container where your virtual machine is so if you want to recover it within last two days your recovery time will be very short However, if you want to recover your VM for more than two days, uh, to a date more than two days older, then it would take time. So let's go ahead with the default settings. So weekly backup, let's skip it for now. Then we have an option for monthly backup and yearly backup. Let's skip all that for now. Let's go ahead with the daily backup at 7.30 PM. I click on OK and it wants me to choose a virtual machine which virtual machine am i choosing so this is my vm test vm1 i click on ok and i okay it's asking me how many disks so since the virtual machine has only one disk i select that and i click on enable backup okay so the deployment has started i can see the progress on the top 
So let's wait for a minute. I hope it should get completed within a minute. Okay, so our deployment has succeeded. Now let's go back to our virtual machine. Let's check what is the backup status here. So earlier when we came to this page, it was asking me to create a recovery services vault. But now we see recovery services vault is already created. Now when we check the backup status of the VM, restore points, I see no restore points. And last backup status, I see warning initial backup pending. And I have a backup now button. So let's click on backup now. Retain backup till it will be 10th of June, one month. If I want, I can change it to 2022 or let's leave it at default. I click on OK. So trigger backup for test VM1. I can see the progress here. So let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. So triggering backup, backup triggered successfully, please monitor progress in backup jobs page. So how do I get to the backup job page? Here, view all jobs. So this is the first step when we configure the backup. If you remember, we clicked on enable backup. This is the step which was added here that time. Now let's refresh it. We should see a job in progress. Okay, there you go. So this was the first step when we configured the backup. Now we see test VM backup in progress. So if I click on view details, it shows me two phases of the backup. The first phase is taking snapshot. This phase generally gets over within 10 minutes. Then transferring data to vault, this stage takes time. So let's wait for this to complete. So the first stage of backup is over. Take snapshot, it's completed. First stage took around 5 minutes. So now let's see how much time the second stage takes to complete. All right, so we are back. So it took around 40 minutes and transfer data to vault stage is completed. So that was about today's video. If you found this video useful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And if you are looking for any specific video with respect to Azure, please mention in the comment section below. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.